Because Jesus was more, Jesus was more interested. Jesus was more interested in religious form than he was in hurting humanity. Wala siyang pakialam, masaktan o maopen ka. Those who are over righteous people. Because when pride sets into you, destruct destruction follows. Amen? Amen. Pag nagsasagta, meron akong nadidinig kahit na parang nadidinig. Si Pastora naman, ako, ako, na, ako na, naman ang pinatatamaan. <laughs> ang salita ng Diyos po, parang double-edged sword. It penetrates our souls. Hihiwain talaga yan. Masasaktan ka talaga. But when you cry out in tears, there's immediate healing in your heart. Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes? Hallelujah? Amen. So Jesus addressed the man's true nature. Sinabi niya, you hypocrite. Anong sabi ni Lord? You. You hypocrite. In Tagalog, masakit sa tenga. Ikaw, hypocrite. Diba? Kasi you are like as, uh, uh, ano, um, tawag dito, uh, over-righteous. That's truth in regarding the source of sickness. So God's desire for healing of His children on the Sabbath day, He desired of it. That's why, you know, that caught His attention. Amen? Amen. Amen. Alright? Kaya kahit na nga nakaupo kay dyan, God sees your heart. Amen? Amen, amen? Remember, sinabi niya, this woman, in verse 16, she was a daughter of Abraham. This woman being a daughter of Abraham, she was the seed of Abraham. She had covenant relationship with God that provided healing. God provides healing for those who believe in and follow Him. Amen? Amen. amen. Kaya, I realize I've been through it. I experienced healing in my life. I have that, uh, that, uh, uh, yung nangiwi yung aking mukha, yung, uh, yung venia, no? Hindi ako. Bell's palsy. I've gone through, uh, uh, ano yun, executive checkup, lahat normal. Now I know. I have the enemy who inflicted me. So I face it. I worship the Lord. Yung, yung araw CD pa, no? Back and forth, may bago kong biniling CD na worship. And after that, when you worship, para kang lobo na hinihipan, lumalaki ka. Amen? Amen. Diba? So I rebuke the enemy. Get out from my face for I will be in front of people preaching the word of God. Amen. Amen. Meron akong ano, biglang gumising ako na and indeed kasi hapon yun dapat i-electrica ay electrify yan eh ba yung gigisingin yung ano pag gising ko sa umaga nag-iilamos ako miracle to please oh, wala na <laughs> nawala nawala yung iwi imagine mo pinainom pa ako ng namamaga ka alam mo ba yun ano ba mga ano nun para lumakas ka then another healing. Breast. Ang sakit. They're not like this big. Kinabahan ako. Diba? Naku. So, nga, sabi, nagpuso, nagpag, 
check up ako, inawagan ko muli yung pastora namin. So, sinamahan ako doon, seven days pang schedule, dito pala, pag nagpa-schedule ka ng ganyan, hindi ka agad-agad ngayon. Seven days pa. And God, because of what happened in the past, can He, he can do it again. Amen. So every time I took bath, I say in Jesus' name, love get out from my breast. You have no right to be there. I yeah. command you get out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In seven days, kinagawa ko po yun. Gawain, gawin ninyo. Amen. And then when I came to the, when we came to see the doctor, kumuha ng sirin, sirin, sinirins. <laughs> Tapos may camera, dami, tinitinignan. Chinex, ano, laboratory. Sabi niya, okay, you can just rest and then just wait a while. And eto na yung nurse, binigay sa doctor yung result. And sabi ng doctor, eto ang sinabi niya. Sabi niya, ah, oh, it's nothing. It's just dirty water. Sa pets. Ano nangyari ng dirty water doon? Yung nakuha sa lamp is dirty water and it's nothing. I'll just give you a pain killer. <laughs> just take it when it hurts you, when you hurt your pain. Diba? Napahalak ka ako na, yes Lord, you did it again. Yeah, That's why when I pray for those who are sick, I know I put my even the, that sick person, kung wala siyang faith, kung kulang ang faith niya, I will use my faith for her to be, to be healed. And many people, a lot of people, I say, I tell you, marami na pong napagaling sa kamay ng Diyos sa kamay na ito. Amen. 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 Operahan na sa Monday. Hindi na tuloy ang opera. Puro opera nga eh. Ando na sa salang na sa ano? Hindi na tuloy. Sabi ng doktor, ano nangyayari? <laughs> ano po nangyari sa inyo? So, Jesus healed them. Amen. 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 That's why, it's not only on this hand, when you are a believer, when the Jesus is inside you, you know what? You know, meron kang dalang healing. Amen. Pray Amen. for your sister or anyone. Amen. Dito sa flight, dito sa flight ko sa Cebu, overnight lang yon. Okay, said Lord, every time na every time naman ting padadala mo ako kung saan, meron kang ginagawa. So dumating kami after after meetings and meetings and then kumain mo na kami ng dinner. Ang dinner namin halo-halo, nabuhaw na sa init. So umi kami, pagbalik namin doon sa in, sa pension, sa bahay ng amin din. So meron isang babae, kaya pala lagi meron pong woman uh, get loose, di ba? So nakahiga siya ng ganyan, ang laki ng tiyan. Ang sabi ng kasama kami dalawa ni, ano, ni Sister Rose, sabi niya, Ay, kailan ka po mga nganag? <laughs> Sabi niya, oh po, eh bakit yung kamay ko na-draw doon sa niya? Sabi ko, ay, kailan ka po, mga nga Sabi ng babae, hindi po ako buntis, I'm sick. And I, I'm waiting for my operation. And then, you know what? Immediately, woman, be free, right? Yes. So can I pray for you? Ang conviction ko, very sorry. can I pray for you? He look at me and said, yes, please. Ah, uh, doon na. Doon na na. Doon na. Then I laid my hands on her. Talaga rebuke. And uh, it deals with a curse. So somebody curse her. And then, uh, you know, the, the, the prayer goes about deliverance from curse. Amen? Amen. So, you see, and I believe the Lord, you know, show this lady that he has the power to heal. Amen? Amen. So, yun po, it's introduction ko lang. Yeah. <laughs> so, she had to be loose. Amen? Hallelujah. Yan. So, John 10.10. 10. Okay. Remember who you, who's that lady is, right? But she was bound by Satan. He was Satan bound. Okay? For 18 years, God did not send it to her. Oh, siguro kaya ka nagkaganyan kasi ang laki ng kasalanan mo. Kaya nangyari sa'yo yan kasi ang laki ng kasalanan mo sa Diyos. 
Who are you to say that? Never say that. Amen? You have no right. Huh? You don't have, you don't have right to, to say that. Amen? Because God did not send any or send it to that lady or to any to anyone to make her more holy to te or to teach her for something. Kaya nangyari siya ka kasi tumuturuan ka ng Diyos. Mali. Mali. Never say that. The Bible call it, calls it spirit of infirmity. And Jesus referred to it to it as bondage. John 10, 10 says the thief comes to kill but the thief comes not but to steal to kill and destroy. Kapag ka meron nangyayari sa buhay ninyo na meron ano killing, stealing, stealing of your joy, killing, uh, stealing your, your whatever and destroying relationship people. Sabi ni Lord, I am I come that you may have life. Period. No. The Lord's, I come so that you may have life and that you may have it abundantly. Amen. 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 Kaya si Jesus po ang ating kailangan. Amen. And this lady, kung, kay, kung sino man po ang nakikinig, that parang feeling niya ay, ang buhay niya ay parang walang pag-asa, hindi siya makakilos, wala siyang uh, um, uh, uh, ano tawag dito yung anything anything na magagamit niya whatever is empty so hallelujah tandaan natin it's always Satan who is at work so you have to be loosed from that, you have to be free from that bondage. And also, <laughs> in Jesus' name, and also, when something, words, negative words injected in your mind, rebuke it. Do not accept it, right? So do not allow Satan to kill, steal, and destroy you. Amen? Amen. For Jesus said in Luke 9.56, for the Son of Man is not come to destroy man's life. He did not come to destroy us, but to save us. Amen? Amen? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. You ought to be loose. Amen. Praise be to God. Many people allow religious tradition to bind them to the mercy and grace of God. And that becomes the foothold. They allow Satan to rob them of the power of God for today. You know what? Because, hi, hello. Yes, because what? 